Today we'll be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Yakmo Rail Bar Crossbars. These are going to come in silver and black and many different sizes, ranging from 28 and 3 quarter inches all the way to 40 and a half inches. You can use our fit guide here at eTrailer.com to find out the best fit for your vehicle. The Yakima Rail Bars are a great solution for carrying your vehicle accessories on your roof, whether those are bike racks, ski and snowboard carriers, or cargo baskets. This is going to be an aerodynamic low profile design, which is going to help to reduce wind noise and drag, and the weather strip on the inside can easily be pushed down and we can use channel mounted accessories. The rail bars are going to work with most Yakima roof rack accessories, whether those are clamp on or channel mounted. Our towers are going to be made out of a glass full of plastic, which will grip around our raised rails using a rubber gasket on top and the metal rubber coated clamp on bottom. On each of our towers, we're going to have a plastic lock core here that can be removed and replaced with a metal same key system lock core, part number Y07204, and that's going to allow you to secure your crossbars to your roof the crossbars themselves are going to be made out of a lightweight aluminum, so they're corrosion resistant, and they're either going to come in a satin chrome finish or a black powder coat finish. The Yakima Rail Bars are going to come with a limited lifetime warranty and have a 165 pound weight capacity. Now you do want to double check your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure your roof can withstand that much weight. Now that we've gone over some features, we're going to show you how to get this installed. Now to begin our install, we've gone ahead and removed our covers on our bars. We're going to have to extend out this end of our bar, then we can take off our tool. When we place this onto our vehicle, we want to make sure that the thicker end of our bar is facing towards the front. We'll need to loosen up our clamp just a bit more by using our included tool and loosening up our bolt here. Then we'll pull on the end so that our clamp sits underneath our raised rail and the rubber portion is flush against the rail on top then we can start to tighten everything down. I want to tighten this down just enough so that our bar stays in place, but we're still able to move it back and forth and adjust our crossbar spread. Now we'll measure out our crossbar spread. I'm going to measure from center to center, and I want this just to be even on each side. Now we'll go back taking our tool and tightening down our bolt so that our crossbar is completely secure on our raised rails. Now we'll take our cover. We want to line up this tab here with our weather channel. We'll push our end cap in until it locks into place, and now we're ready to load up our accessories. And that's going to be our completed look at the Yakima Rail Bar Crossbars.